What's going on everybody? So Physio Trader here and I wanted to talk about a key difference between fundamental analysis and technical analysis. So a follow up from my previous video, you know, we talked about the fundamentals, we talked about what's going on, um, but I, I want to kind of give us a, an ability to kind of show what's going on in real time. So right now I, I just pulled up my broker, the market is closed, it's, it's way late in the afternoon or the evening. And so, you know, nothing here is going to be moving, but it's going to be plenty fine for us to go through any of this. Um, so right here, um, we're going to start with fundamental analysis first. So uh, for those of you who are not familiar with my screen here, this is Charles Schwab's um, broker platform. So if you have an account with Charles Schwab, then you get to partake in their platform Street Smart Edge. It is a completely free program. Whether you are a Mac user or a Windows user, you are able to use the program. If you use Windows, then you can use their native program. If you use Apple, then you can use their Citrix viewer so that you can kind of link in and use it. But essentially, this is my screen. I have made these. I can put a link in the description to how I made these. I made a separate video on how I made these different tabs and, um, and what they represent. These are not the standard ones, but if you're interested, you know, please reach out and I can give you a breakdown of what I did. But essentially, I have all of these different tabs. I have a trade screen, I have a research, I have a trade again, I have an options screen, and then I have more research. Now, you know, this MBP stands for MacBook Pro. Um, iMac, so I'm on my iMac right now, MacBook Pro. Basically, the screen is just shortened because this is what my screen is available on uh, when I'm, whenever I'm trading on my MacBook and I don't wanna have to worry about resizing um, every time I go from my MacBook to my iMac. So I just kind of made the exact same uh, tab, give me the same information, but in a much smaller format. So um, let's go over to the screen research and we're gonna start with the fundamental analysis first. So again, for those of you who don't know, fundamental analysis means you're gonna look at what the fundamentals say. And that is, what does the company stand? How is the company you know, doing? How many shares are in there? How many uh, shares are outstanding from the institution itself? That would be the company that you're interested in buying. Right now, Peton, P-T-O-N, is Peloton. Um, I'm gonna switch this to something like Apple. So first off, I wanted you to look is like, you know, Market Edge is, is Charles Schwab's free program that comes with their free platform because it is a full service broker, meaning they wanna give you as much information available for free. That is take advantage of these services because, because it gives it to you for free. Now you can find all of this if you go to like schwab.com, if you're a Schwab um, you know, member uh, or a user, and you can find all this, but to be quite honest, it is so much easier to find it if you do utilize this platform, which is completely free to use. Your login for the platform is identical to the login that you have to, to open your account or to utilize your account on their website. So nothing special to make it, you just kind of log in and, and there you have it. So I'm gonna change it to Apple, ticker symbol AAPL, just because <clears throat> I think it's more um, you know um, readily recognized. Um, so uh, letting this guy heal or, or kind of um, break up, but I want to skip this right now. So I want to kind of divert all of your attention over here to this box first, and that is just the the summary screen. Okay, and here, um, so from here, you know, we have these tabs: summary, earnings, ratings, metrics. Okay, first off, summary. Um, Schwab equity rating says that this company is going to strongly outperform the market. And that would be as of March 12th, 2021. And that means that they believe this is an A rating company. See that A right there? Meaning that they believe that if you put your money here, that you are going to be well off in the long term. Okay. And so it talks about the market cap, 2,081.6 billion. So it's almost, you know, $2.1 billion or, or two point. 2.0 or oh man 2.1 trillion dollar company so 2000 billion so 2.1 trillion dollar company almost 2.1 it has gone down a little bit it is considered a, a large plus uh, market cap class uh, their enterprise value uh, what their beta is we can talk about that later the shares that are outstanding is 16.8 billion the total float 16.8 billion that's how many is out uh, what is held by the institution meaning apple the company itself holds 53 percent of the shares um, how many employees are with the company of apple 147,000 directly that does not include vendors or other you know other companies that are kind of spin-off companies um, and then you can go to like find out what technology or, or what sector it's in what industry sub-industry um, all of these little things, and I'm not going to read each one of them to you. So some of these like technical details are in there too. 
But what most trading and most um, investors are interested in is going to be what the dividends are, what the earnings are, what the, the short interest is. That was something that kind of popped up real heavily on the GameStop trade that happened quite a bit ago when the short interest was over 100%. And when the short interest was over 100%, that meant that um, a short squeeze was likely to happen. To be quite honest, I don't like to short or be in anything that is over 70%. Um, of the total sh uh, shares outstanding is short interest, meaning that those shares are being shorted because somebody much smarter than me and bigger than me feels that there's an interest to short this company to make it go down, which means it's probably gonna go down. To the, the flip side of that coin is that eventually there's a lot of people in there and shorts, people who are shorting a company are guaranteed buyers. They are guaranteed buyers so that they can exit their position. And when you have guaranteed buyers, that's a pretty safe bait place to be when you're a buyer of a company. That means you know that 70% of the individuals holding that company or shorting it need to buy to exit their position. Now, whether they do it now or a year from now or whenever, that's completely up to them. So, you know, all of this is important. So again, this short interest is something that has been very popular as of late because of the GameStop issue. Um, and if you're watching this at a much later date, just kind of Google 2021 GameStop and uh, you'll find a plethora of information. So that's just the general summary. But if you wanna click over to earnings, it's gonna talk about the earnings, how many EPS earnings per share. On average, you get almost a dollar per share. The highest it's ever been is one point, uh, just under a dollar 10 cents and the lowest it's been is 85. That's not a far spread. Um, you know, between the difference and that's good. You know, that means it's a consistent earnings deliverer system. Um, and so, you know, for somebody who's looking to buy this company and hold for a long time, every quarter, you're going to make almost a dollar potentially just to hold this on top per share, almost a dollar every quarter. So you would make almost $4 per share per year, almost, um, just by holding this company on top of whatever actual value it increased with over time. So these earnings are something to kind of uh, entice you to hold this company long term so that they don't have people just buying and selling all the time. Um, so again, you know, here's some of those, uh, those fundamental uh, things. We have the ratings. This is what Schwab has decided based on, you know, X number of analysis that or analysts that'll go through it and determine it. And then you also have the metrics, which will kind of break that down. But for you, um, this is kind of like the bread and butter. Market Edge is their very expensive, very well thought out program that kind of decides and kind of makes words of all of this really quickly. And right here, this thing is screaming avoid. It is saying avoid this right now. The second opinion suggests that this is a very risky stock. We have the simple moving average 50 in the 100, and this thing is starting to downtrend. Now we're getting a bounce off the 200 moving average coming up, which is why you know someone may think, oh, it was just a small dip, dip by. But overall, this thing looks like it's about to head down, downward. And so Schwab is telling you in plain English, I would avoid this right now. They have just downgraded it at March 1st. Um, the price at the downgrade was 121. Um, and that right now the price is sticking at around 124. So it means that they're suggesting it's got some room to go down on top of the fact that it you know, it, it's saying that it doesn't have a very strong score, but it is extremely bearish. They gave it a zero out of five or zero out of four um, on the, you know, on this Richter scale, this Likert scale over here, they're saying, get out. You know, this is not something that hold. If you're in it, you know, I would protect your downside and either, you know, buy yourself a put option or, you know, enter stop losses into your trading platform just to make sure that if it gets really far down, you're going to protect those gains. You're going to protect your capital. Um, if you're looking to get in it, you know, this program right here, I'm not telling you, but Market, uh, Market Edge with Charles Schwab is saying, don't get in right now. They're saying avoid it. And uh, let's see if we can find anything that does not say this. So Tesla, let's see, we'll give it a second. This thing takes a second to load because it is very robust. Tesla, avoid as well. There you go. So avoid as well, but it's mildly improving. So um, let me, let's go to something that maybe is not related to the tech industry, Boeing. Um, Wong. Okay. So they're actually saying go in heavy. They're saying go in heavy right now with Boeing. They're saying, look, Boeing is on the upward men. And, uh, you know, again, I, there's no absolute prediction of what this is going to do, but they are saying that you should get long with, uh, Boeing. And, you know, I'm not saying that 
Schwab is saying that or Schwab Market Edge, at least the data is saying, hey, um, based on the current fundamentals and technical analysis, they're saying, hey, this seems to be a good company, a safe company to put your money in. Now, whether you make that decision or not, don't base it on me. And I certainly wouldn't recommend you base it on this. I would make it base it on a multitude of factors. But either way, um, their program, which is much smarter than me, and I'll happily admit that, is saying go long. Going long means you're buying with the opportunity of buying at a lower price and then you plan on selling it at a higher price. So that means you're going long. You expect a long upward trajectory. So um, I want to talk about another in the next video. I want to talk about technical analysis. I was going to combine the two, but because this is just getting a little bit longer, just kind of split it up between the two. Okay. So um, if you have any questions, again, please feel free to reach out in the comment section. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestion, you know, I, I love to hear from everybody. If you think that, you know, there's a way to better, a way to do it better, please let me know. Um, if not, you know, Please hit that like button if this has helped you. Share it with any friends or family that may feel that they may benefit from it. And subscribe if you have not already done so. If not, I'll catch you in the next video where we talk about the difference in technical analysis. Thank you for watching.